This video is made possible by the following sponsor. Kia ora. Bro, it's me, your future you. That's kind of freaky. I know, man, but I can't talk for long. Get off the couch, go to eit.ac.nz and apply for that program you've always wanted to do. Trust me. Auckland-based Vortex Power Systems has broken ground on the East Coast to begin building a revolutionary trial plant that converts low-grade waste heat into carbon-neutral clean electricity. The trial plant will be built on Toby and Amelia Williams' Pihitia station at Whangara, where the first sod was turned earlier this week. When operational next year, the plant will produce a water spout-like plume of water vapour that can shoot up to five kilometres into the sky. The ceremony on uh, Monday was attended by local iwi, Gisborne Mayor Riet Stoltz, District Council staff and others, Eastern Group representatives and so on. Students from Whangara School performed a karakia and waiata for the visitors and kaumatua Sir Derek Lardelli blessed the site. The plant will be the company's first electricity generating commercial pilot plant in the country, a fully operational demonstration unit. The Vortex system has been in development since 2017. A testing rig at the University of Auckland's Aerodynamics Lab has been developed and built to prove the physics that underpins that the technology is correct. That's from the company chief executive, Perzan Mater. When we sort of went out, we sort of tried to think about the ideal conditions we'd need um, to uh, create this vortex at size and scale. That included, you know, things like access um, to infrastructure. And we sent out a list of what we needed to our network. And uh, we came back with Toby and his, um, this site over here was ranked number one. So we decided to um, shake on it and here we are. The site will house a Vortex system and a research and development facility. It will also create some extra jobs for the region. Mr Mater says they hope it will attract tourists as well because it's not every day you see a man-made water spout, let alone one that can go five kilometres into the air. Pihitia Station was chosen as the perfect site for the trial plant because it's well away from any fly zones for aircraft. The higher the plume, the greater the amount of electricity the plant can generate, Mr Mater said. Construction on the test site at a cost of around $3 million will begin in January. Vortex aims to have the plant completed and operational by next winter when tests will start. He anticipates testing twice a week for two hours or so a day to collect the necessary data as they move the project forward and it will cost around $5 million to carry out the next uh, phase of research. Mr Mater says the Vortex concept captures low quality waste heat emitted from thermal processes and many large-scale manufacturing plants like steelworks, dairy factories and paper mills. The Whangara trial plant will use a diesel generator to provide the heat for the test program. Landowner Toby Williams said he jumped at the opportunity to host the test plant on his property. It's no secret that Gisborne's sort of sheep and beef and forestry dominated. So if we can turn Gizzy into like a tech hub, we can get these guys out of Auckland and stuff like that, where we've got... You know, great infrastructure here, good land, good access, stuff like that, and we can make more of these little things like this. Why wouldn't we you know, jump into it? Rocket Lab at Mahia and Vortex in Gisborne. Murray Robertson for the Gisborne Herald. Kia ora. Bro, it's me, your future you. That's kind of freaky. I know, man, but I can't talk for long. Get off the couch, go to eit.ac.nz and apply for that program you've always wanted to do. Trust me.